Howdy, AP Prequel. It's Ms. Kosh. We are going to look at some rational inequalities. The good news is we already talked about sign diagrams. So if you know how to do a sign diagram, life gets really easy with these. Um, so let's just jump right in and look at some of these problems. Um, so with this one, we need to know we need to know vertical asymptotes and we need to know zeros. So I have a zero when x is equal to two. I have an asymptote, a vertical asymptote, when x is equal to negative 6 or when x is equal to positive 3. So when I draw this, I'm going to put, well, negative 6 and then 2 and then 3. Um, the 0 gets a, a solid line that reminds us that we could equal that if they allow us to equal, but the asymptotes get dotted lines. Okay, um, so on this one, then I'm going to plug in values. The easiest thing to plug in is 0. So zero, that gives me a negative, a positive, and a negative. So a negative divided by a negative is a positive. Um, give me something between here, so two and a half, so 2.5. So that's going to give me a positive, a positive, and a negative. So a positive times, um, divided by a positive times a negative is a negative. Let's try four. Positive, positive, positive is all going to be positive. Let's try negative seven. So that's a negative, a negative, and a negative. A negative over a negative times a negative is a ultimately a negative. Whew, goodness. Okay, so now we want to know when is it greater than or equal to zero. Well, negative six to two, we can equal zero. So let's use a hard bracket where we had a solid line. And then we're going to pick it up again, um, but we can't equal three because it's an asymptote, and we're going to go to infinity. Okay, let's look at the next one here. This um, can be factored to x minus two times x plus two over x minus five squared. So we have, um, and then e less than zero. Sorry, do you see that less? Than, okay, I ran out of space. Um, but I have zeros, x equals plus or minus two, and I have an asymptote at x equals five. Um, so we'll draw this out. Zeros at a negative two and a positive two and an asymptote dot, 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 at positive five. Okay, plugging in zero, I get... Well, zero cancels, it gives me a negative over a positive, so that's a negative. The other ones, it's easier to, um, it's easier for me to plug in to the factored version, so I can think positive or negative. So if I plug in three, I have a positive, positive, negative, but good squared is positive, so that's positive. Plug in six, positive, 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 squared still is positive, that's positive. Um, plug in negative three, I have a negative, negative over a positive, that gives me a positive because a negative times a negative divided by a positive. Um, we want to be less than zero, and the only place where less than zero is here, but we can't equal these um, values because they didn't give me an equal sign here. So it's from negative two to two with soft brackets. Okay, here we go. We have an asymptote at x equals three. So at three, so if I plug in zero, I'm going to get a negative. If I plug in four, I have a positive. So positive divided by positive is still positive. So where am I greater than zero? From three to infinity. And on this one, I have a zero. Um, set this equal to zero. Subtract eight divided by four is negative two. X equals negative two. I have an asymptote when X is equal to negative five. Asymptote at negative 5, 0 at negative 2. Let's plug in 0. That's gone. We're left with something positive. Let's plug in... Oh, I said negative 2. Okay, my bad. So 0 is now over here. This is going to be positive. Let's plug in negative 3. Negative 12 plus, that's, plus 8 is a negative. Negative 3 here, that stays positive. That's a negative. Uh, plug in negative 6, that's negative 24, plus 8 is still negative, negative 6 plus 5 is now still negative, negative over negative is a positive. Okay, so where are we less than or equal to 0? Well, we're less than or equal to 0 from negative 5 to negative 2. We can equal negative 2, we cannot equal negative 5. Let's see, do I want to keep going in this video? Um, it's the same sort of idea up here. Um... I think we have the right idea. This, um, we'll look at this one that gets a little bit different in that um, they've given us the picture. Okay, so where are we less than or equal to zero? Well, we're less than or equal to zero from um, negative three to negative one. We can equal negative one, and then we pick it up again. Um, 
we're less than zero from, or equal to zero from two to three. But we can't equal three because it's an asymptote. Where are we greater than zero? Um, over here, so from, I'm gonna write it down here. Negative infinity, we're greater than zero um, until the asymptote, so negative three. And then we're greater than zero from, oh, nope, we can't be equal, my bad, I was just testing you. Um, so from negative one to positive two, and then we pick it up again, and we're greater than zero from three to infinity. The next one is kind of interesting. Where are we greater than or equal to one? Well, that was very nice. They gave us an asymptote of y equals one. So where are we above the asymptote? Well, from negative infinity to negative three, and then again from three to infinity. All right, good luck, go practice.